What's going on everybody? Just wanted to take a quick second at the top of this to thank all of you for the reviews that you submitted uh, for the dice giveaway. Um, and it really, really helps us out. And I, we're really, really appreciative of all the, the kind things that you said. And we, we thank you for taking the time to do that. Special thanks to Alexa, who won the dice giveaway from Norse Foundry. Hope you uh, enjoy whatever new math rocks that you get. Um, and with that, we'll get you right into the episode here. So enjoy episode 51 of Live and Let Fly. Thanks. Welcome back to Little Live Fly, everybody. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. Gorsh. How are you? Gorsh. <laughs> Gorsh. <laughs> Welcome back to Little Live Fly. Thought, thought we might. Like, yeah. it was, there was just long enough pause. I thought we might just leave Zach hanging on that one. I, I was going to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I was, I was we'll, we'll, we'll end it right here. We'll end it right here, Adam. <laughs> we'll see you. Well, of course. Yeah. The easiest oh, episode ever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Zach, in two Zach weeks. is the king of, I'll turn this podcast around. I will turn it around. <laughs> man. Uh, fuck them kids, man. They don't want to fuck with me, bro. We'll, we'll come back to Disney World quick, fast, and in a hurry. Oh, you know no. what I'm saying? All four of them. All four of them. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. How you doing, Zach? Uh, it's Friday, which is not our usual recording day. However, Last time we recorded on Friday, it didn't end well. That's all I'll say. You had to bring that up, huh? <laughs> Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> but this Friday, I feel like there is some good energy. And this some good, this good. Friday, yeah. it is the weekend. So, Like the um, artist? The musical artist? No, as in the, the, <laughs> the period of the week. As in the, the days, the mm. days of the week, mm. you you track it. Oh, I, I now, now I'm with you. Now I you're with okay. yeah, so you. So I'm sorry I, if I was a little, I only a little know vague. The recording artist. I only know. <laughs> <laughs> what are these like days? The weekend, of guys, the week, like the say. singer. Like <laughs> 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 no, like the weekend. <laughs> Damn. Bless his bones. Man, I know that it's cliche for us to talk about the weather, but it's <laughs> hot as fuck. It's it is yeah, it so is. hot this week. Dude, I had to go get my uh, nephew. He's staying with me. And I went and got my car and just immediately I felt like I melted mm -hmm, and like mm -hmm. stuck to my seat because I've got the like the leather seats. You got the leather seats? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm, yeah. And uh, mm. it is just miserable. Like I couldn't put my hands on the steering wheel. I had to like. Oh, yeah. Oh, like yeah. The, the, the top. Probably third of the steering wheel is direct sunlight. I had to go like hold the steering wheel from the bottom just to yeah. tolerate it. Yeah, right. right. So yeah. listen, that exact same thing, but it was like uh, two p.m. and I didn't really think it through, and I was wearing shorts, and I went out and I just like flopped into the car, no problemo, and I felt my thighs immediately fuse to oh, the no. leather I'm wearing, <laughs> and proceed to I'm, burn to death. Right? I'm, I'm wearing like, my oh. short shorts today too. Yeah. I did the same thing. It's rough, buddy. It's rough. It's out like being there. enveloped in a hot, like belt buckle. Yeah, it's man. Like, my oh, my God. shorts today mid thigh, mid, mid thigh. thigh. Yeah. yeah, get them thighs so, out there, boy. Mm, I, <laughs> boy, boy. I got a new car <laughs> recently, and it, my old car did have leather seats, and this one does not. It's got cloth the seats. cloth seats. It's a game changer. And mm -hmm. I I think that I much prefer cloth seats. Oh, personally. I do. Nah, leather. leather no. Nah, I, don't like, I don't like why, I, why though, I spill John? too much stuff for cloth seats. Justify that. Yeah. What? Because it, you, it's live just in, so... you live in the deep south, yeah. brother. Tell me why. I brother, do. I do. I do. <laughs> but I, I've lived enough in the south to where I, like, I, I feel like I'm like not immune to it, but a bit resistant to the to the heat on the leather. 
Um, That's ridiculous. No, no, for real, for real, for real. It's a seatbelt no, buckle that how, actually bothers how actual me. science <laughs> works, and you're going to stick no, to no, that no, 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 like every Adam, other human being. Adam. I'm yep. built different, okay? I'm built in different. <laughs> no. right. John's just that guy, man. My boy is yeah. totally tough, okay? I don't, think, I don't think John's ever worn mid-thigh shorts in his life. <laughs> I'll tell you, the thing that you can do to help with the leathery stuff, or like having the, the super super hot seats, is get ceramic window tent. It's a little bit more expensive, but that shit works. And then also get like one of those little fold out sunscreen things, and you know when you park, mm-hmm. put it in the windshield. Oh, you and want me to judge? He was very bougie with his little yeah protector. I know yeah. it's like it's like or the thing is don't get leather seats. That's the <laughs> yeah, other that's way. So cool. mine mine doesn't actually have leather. It's like this fake leather, but it's not just like the crappy. I don't I don't know what to actually call it. You know, it's but not it's leather. Like, it's not it's not like the the pleather that will like flake and peel off like a really really cheap couch or something. You know, or like like a cheap office chair. Mm-hmm. It's not full grain, but it's actually like. But it's, it's well, no, it's it's not an, it's not leather. made from like animal skin. It's like vegan leather, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, but it, it's I mean it, it gets warm, but it's made from human. But, skin. but well, so here's <laughs> here's the thing. Right? <laughs> I don't think I feel it's technically heat, right? vegan. It's I feel Casey more confident. Leather. That KC brand. <laughs> I feel more confident burying farts into that seat and not having them stick <laughs> than I would if I had cloth. So. See, it's, it's, it's down just science. That, it's just I mean, science. You see, it's just science, man. No, dude, it's not even right now. It's not even like the actual temperature heat. It's the humidity is so thick. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's both, bro. That's mm. the thing. No, I mean, listen, bro. It's look. It's in the nineties all the time. Okay, I mean, it's, it's it's currently it, six forty five p.m. and it is ninety three degrees Fahrenheit. Right. What's the mm. what's the what's the uh, the humidity though? Too high. Humidity, you know, like, dude, I got out this morning at eight o'clock. I got out of my car at work and I was wearing sunglasses. And as soon as I stepped out of the car, my glasses immediately fogged up. Like, Mm -hmm. dude, that's me every single day. Thick. I leave my office. Like, I walk outside and like my sunglasses immediately fog. Because you keep it so cool in your office, or yeah. I mean, it has to be cold in there, but yeah, 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 Um, yeah. But yeah, so it's like goggles. 90-ish something degrees, low 90s, and it feels like 101 with a 63% humidity right now. That's too high. That's what I it's said. It's too, it's too it's damn high. Mm. It's, for, it's, damn, it's for, really... our, for our non-Americans, it's like 34 degrees Celsius. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you, Google. Thanks, Google. I mean, yeah, I don't memorize and that. 34 I'm American. Is, is I'm hot, American. <laughs> 34 degrees Celsius is, is hot. It's real hot. Um. I don't, Especially with the humidity, I don't like it. I have to I mow my grass at some point this weekend. I, I'm, I'm, I hate it. I'm sorry about it. Thank it you. It is weird. We we talked about at Origins that you know the difference in humidity. Cause like the South is just swamp everywhere. Mm-hmm. But like when I li- I moved to California when I was 15 for like a year, and I got nosebleeds constantly so because I was so used to this like wet heat down here. And it was, I mean, I'm outside LA. Just like dried up that dry. nose. Yeah. I, yeah. I, was, I was bleeding out the nose profusely all the time. My sister had to, uh, when she moved out to, to Nevada, she had to keep a humidifier in her house for mm-hmm. like two or three years. To acclimate. Until, mm-hmm. yeah, to, until she got used to it. And now when she comes back here, she's like, it's miserable. It's so humid. You know, mm-hmm. and it's like, like yeah, yeah. You've, been away for, you've been away for a while, you know. It's, it's- See, that's the thing. People like will say like, oh, I've lived in the South my whole life. I'm used to it. Fuck that. I'm born and raised here. And I'm still, every time I step outside in the summer, I'm like, this is hell. And I hate I mean, it. I'm I mean, never- all we do is, is complain. But, so. like, <laughs> but like, I, I, I feel like it's, it's got to be worse if you're not. All right, I'll say this. Whenever I uh, whenever I go out of town, you know, mm-hmm. and come back into town, mm-hmm. especially on a plane, yeah, right. You ever been somewhere like up north or out west, and then you fly back in New Orleans, yep. and then as soon as you step off the plane, you're still on the on the the sky bridge or whatever, yep. mm-hmm. and but you can feel that humidity as soon as you're like, oh shit, uh-huh. I'm back in New Orleans. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, no. uh, you know, well, like you're wearing a long like a sleeve wave. going from the yeah. from wherever you were up north, and you come back here like, oh shit, now I'm in a long sleeve. Like, I mean, too hot. Yeah. Whenever we got, yeah, totally. Yeah. As soon as we got in the jetway off the plane, it was like, <laughs> right. yeah, uh, immediately uh, sad. Uh, <laughs> no longer prep for this weather. Uh. <laughs> it's no good. It's just not. 
It's not all right. It's not. It's and not it's only right. July. And that's right? the thing. So we're we're not like, even in August yet. Like, we, August is always the worst. Yeah, we're like yeah. barely mid July. And I'm dreading that November summer heat. Exactly. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh. That's the no, joke, it's, right? It's, but it's, however, no. <laughs> it, it's, it's either not hurricanes or heat. Out of the death. realm yeah. of the possibility to get up to like 80 something in November on a hot oh, day. Oh, it was in the 90s last yeah, year. Yeah, baby. Really? It was, it was down here. That. For sure. My birthday is December 12th, and we had like 90 degree weather during that week. And I was like, yeah, we the had actual a very fuck. warm winter. Winter in the South is really like uh, like February, March. Yeah, that's yeah, when our. Right. Is yes, where yes, like, it is. Like, yes, it is. That's when we get the ice storms and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, February. <laughs> Good and then we'll bitch about how cold it is. And it's like <laughs> I only like it's like fifty degrees. Jesus Christ, I'm freezing. You will not hear me complain no. at all about how cold it is. Yeah, because I just right, want. Okay. I appreciate it because I know how bad you, right now is. Different. Like forty mm. degrees to sixty degrees is like mm, that is the sweet spot right there, baby. Mm-hmm. That's that good mm-hmm. good weather. That is the good stuff. 65 degrees. You can wear a jacket and everything. It's wild. We're just going to move to Montana. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's too far. There's nobody in Montana. It's like... It sounds like there's there's more cows than people. I think there's more people in... What's the problem here? Montana than there is in, what is it, North Dakota? Wyoming. North Dakota is probably yet... The least populous state, I think. But at least the drive to BC is very short, you know? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. True. Wyo- Wyoming is the least populated state. Wyoming. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Man, my dad one time, like he's always done contract work and gone all over the country. And for several years, he was he had an RV and he would just like, you know, he'd go to Montana or, you know, Wyoming or wherever, wherever his welding gigs took him. But the first time he went to Montana, he was wholly unprepared. He, he went up there. Uh, and it was like, you know, there's snow and stuff, but then he like hooks up his RV and all that goes to bed, got to go to work in the morning. And it snowed like 12, 10 feet, 10 or 12 feet. Like he was snowed completely <laughs> in. Couldn't do anything for his first day of work. He, he was stuck in his RV. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Couldn't open the doors. I and it's like you got to tell him, listen, man. I'm from Mississippi. This yeah, doesn't. I happen. was. I didn't realize this was an option. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Don't have any uh, uh, chains to put on his RV tire. I'm new. I'm new. So, I don't know what to do. <laughs> that okay? Question: Have y'all? Um, so we have one of my friends is staying with us for a while, and she's never been tent camping. Have y'all been tent camping? I yeah. I grew up on that uh, yeah. as a kid. Yeah. I I've haven't recently. Several the, music festivals. Right. Right. I forgot who I was talking to. Like five Sorry. Times. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I made a silly question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but um, why do you ask? I just, I, I was wondering, been? I was just like, man, have, are there like a lot of people who haven't? T- if it weren't for festivals, do you think you would have gone? I've I, been I mean, tent camping in yeah, the last yeah. two years. I have That's not, not been festival. tent camping for a non-festival related anything. In- I love camping. Me neither. Yeah, I do too. I'd like to, though. But you gotta wait. You wanna go fall. camping, John? Yeah, actually, yeah. But I mean, right. not not during this heat, man. No, no, but I'm heat. talking about no. late <laughs> in October. October. We can use my black leather tent. Oh, thank right. goodness. <laughs> I'm just built different, man. Just yeah, built different. No, no, no. We, we can sit in my leather, in my leather uh, seats in my car and we can just go, I don't know. Off road with my off shoes road. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Hey man, I've seen that happen, the, and it's not going to turn out how you think it is. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll set it up though. We'll we'll, we'll go camping sometime. Dope. Hell yeah. When it's not so hot. Mm-mm. I have an Eno hammock that I bought. An nice. Eno. Like, yeah, Eno. Like Brian Eno? Yeah, the I was like, thank, thank, yeah. thank you, Like the brand Eno. No, it's an emo hammock. It's That's what I'm it hearing. It could be, but it's not. It is an Eno hammock. You and I literally... <laughs> 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 it and I, I literally, like, it was one year. I want to say it was, like, maybe 2016. We went to Bear Creek. He, I think John was there as well. Uh-huh. Because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it was me, Heath, and John that went to Bear Creek that year. And then my ex-girlfriend mm-hmm. went with us as well. And yes. uh, 
I wanted a hammock so bad. And so I got a hammock after that Bear Creek. And then the next year they canceled Bear Creek. And, there was no, <laughs> yeah, and so never I just never again. used the hammock. Dude, I've uh, literally had this hammock for like years and never never even you taken know, it out. You know, Zach, the trees outside are free to use for hammock. Oh, yeah. But like, I mean, in my own. I'm in this. What am I going to catch me my- hammock <laughs> and in my own house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not on the couch, it's actually considered bro, in the that. AC, man. Like, no, bro. you say that. So my old house, uh, like I sold my house. I'm in an apartment now. But when I was in my old house, I had several different roommates over the course of like five years. And one of our former friends who this is very him, he had a hammock and on my back porch, he like drilled the hammock like side to side in in the back porch, like within the porch. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> like, oh, no. and it's like six feet off the ground. He had to climb on a table to get it into it. And I'm like, oh, what are God. you doing? <laughs> Dude? That's a bold strategy. Uh, so that that's what the you fuck. Really, you really <laughs> insist on yourself, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's well, a little. I already much. got this I wouldn't. Far. I wouldn't. I'd I'll like wake up in the I morning. I know there was there were several times like during you know spring or summer like i'd wake up in the morning and walk outside and like smoke a cigarette or whatever and almost run my head into his butt hanging down from <laughs> the roof of my freaking uh oh, porch. Man, my porch. Gosh. yeah 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 I-, I would hang up a-, a hammock inside if i knew a good way to do it you if know? i had the space i can for make it, it happen would. oh yeah i'm sure you I, know I what mean, I-, I still want and you know what Gosh dang it, I'm an adult and I can do this. I can get this if I really want. I've always wanted to have a swing inside. Like since I was a little girl. Like just like a little like a one person swing. Just like Oh, that kind of swing. Yeah, yeah. not like a sex swing. Is it a sex swing? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Come on, boys. One Come person on. swing. I've when had I was a little years. kid uh, in, in the first house that, that, that I lived in. We had one of those, um, like pod swings. It's mm-hmm. like a, it's like a, you know, you just like, like an egg. From the, yeah, it's like an egg. Like yeah. it hangs from the ceiling or whatever, mm-hmm. and you just like sit in. Oh, it and, okay, and yeah. Not, I know what you're talking about. It's like mostly enclosed, but not completely enclosed or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think those are called womb chairs. Anyway, as a kid, I remember really enjoying. <laughs> I didn't like that one. She was completely serious <laughs> there, like, really com- like I mean, I, his, I'm sure she is, but like, went, don't like she, it. She's also very I, wrong. I can neither confirm nor deny, so I just I'm gonna just trust and move on. But my point was that I really I really enjoyed chilling in that chair as a kid. I have fun, like you know, memories of of enjoying being in that that space. So I, I can say. I recommend one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool story, bro. <laughs> now, I don't know about a swing that you can like move around, like, you know, not like, like move a playground a, swing. No, like not a massive amount of like momentum. If you can't movement. swing over the bar, are you even swinging? I'm, well, fair enough. Okay. Damn. Took me to school. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Have you seen hey. how no, tall the it. swing sets are at school? It's like, if you can get over that bar. First of all, you're an impressive athlete as a child. <laughs> well, they, and for uh, another, they've, they've, it's horribly dangerous. They've made it. They've they've made swing sets a lot higher. I think in in since we were kids, they're trying to, to discourage that. Kind that. Of to prevent, yeah. yeah. To, right. To, to prevent yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. I guess we'll play some fucking Starfinder or whatever. Yeah, man. man. Let's swing on into some Starfinder. <laughs> there we go. That there was the go. perfect one. <laughs> Does anybody remember uh, what happened? Last time no. the there was a goofy. Okay. So I yep. listened to the last 15 minutes, but it was just like me trying to hurry through it because it was all just uh, Roland giving gifts to everybody. So I missed everything before that. Like I know that right right at the start of it was Heath's character Tia we wanted to check in on uh, her family. Mm-hmm. We will, we will not. We will not be doing it this episode. Yeah, just yeah. a heads up. Okay. Spoiler good alert. Good to know. Good to know. Do you remember what uh, I wanted to do? Get a sex swing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's a good guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just going like in Captain, blind. Why I'm going to say sex swing. <laughs> my gift instead. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what you wanted to do, Emily. I'm afraid. Uh, Tattoo. Oh. Was, was it a tattoo? Oh, I got no, a nifty tattoo a, pin. 
<laughs> Doesn't she have one already? I uh, I have a full back piece. I mean, or not they, me, they Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, Morgan. I, I, was like, I was like, well, Emily's got 75 tattoos. Morgan can get one more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's totally, that's a thing. Hell, why not? We got like $5 now. Now, what, what did you want to? What did you? Don't don't like uh, don't trick question me. I've had a lot going on. No, so I, 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 don't, I don't remember. I don't need okay. these mind games. Damn it. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah. this is not important. Yeah, don't, what, don't play these games with me, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> what are we supposed to be doing? Zach? Yeah, that's a yeah. <clears throat> what did? Okay, let me. I know we have a me, bunch of star metal. Okay. You have a and bunch of we star metal that and you we, and we tried you, to offload it. Well, right. it was in the process of being offloaded. You found a buyer, mm-hmm. uh, or at least a fence or something. You know, I mean, and yeah. Lindell, the Dramata, Goofy, right. Gorse, <laughs> Gorse. Um, and he was like, "Hey, go back to your hangar. I'll be, I'll be here in two hours with a, a, a truck and your payday." Mm-hmm. And then Roland went out and bought a bunch of gifts for everybody. It was very mm-hmm. nice. Very and fun. then you got a message on your uh, on the Independence's comms that said, "All caps, arrested, help, Trank." So that's the thing. What is that last word? Trank. T R A N Q. Like tranquilized. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the, so that's the, that's spelling it did not make it any easier uh-huh. for me to understand. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. good news for you. Okay, good. Okay? <laughs> good news, everyone. <laughs> you can figure out what Trank means. All right? Okay. That, that is part of what we will do right here this evening on Live and Let Fly is figure that out. Right here, probably right now. now. Everybody <laughs> came in on a different key. <laughs> yes, so that that is, but that is that's where we're at. Now, do I need to have you all roll like a sense motive check to, you know, determine that this message was sent by Lindell? Do I? Is that like necessary, or are we like all following? We, we, Kind of tracking that. I mean, that's up to you, I, GM. Uh, I mean, do I we know? That wasn't is? thinking of doing that until you asked me. If, <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah. And then it's yeah. like, well, I was told all I? I need to do is just get a D twenty. Yeah, so that is I'm true. That's that that all you need tonight, John. That's all you need tonight, man. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But yes, I mean, in the in the interest of expediting this process, I feel like this is going to go so off the fucking rails, man. Oh, you I know, know it. you know it. You know it. <laughs> Okay, I will do my best. To We're hurt. trying to tie it out to more than thirty minutes, you know. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, we got to make time. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, yes, you know, you can all roll me a sense motive check if you would like. I mean, if you I'm roll higher rolling. than a ten. Yep. Okay. Yep. Got a twenty-five. Yep. All right. Got a yep. fifteen. Yep. Yep. Got a seventeen. Got a thirty-two. Morgan, <laughs> with that extremely that high EQ. 20. Yes, you determine. Slate it. Everyone, you've got you got a pretty good sense. This message very likely came from Lindell, the Dramata, your contact, the person that you need to be around in order to get paid and unload this <laughs> a cargo hold full of illegal star medals that you have. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let me ask you something, Zach. Okay. The process in which we got the star medals is illegal, but is it illegal to just have star metal? I mean, we didn't got no papers, you know. <laughs> like, you know, we don't have any like I mean, inventory. Hestia can make us some. Hestia can make us some oh, papers. Oh yeah, you are good at I, forgery. I can, I can forge things quite well. Quite I'm well. just curious, and like, I, you know, and I, I'm not like, well, maybe a little tongue in cheek. <laughs> D- derailing, but it is a gen- genuine question. Like, is it illegal to have amounts of star metal, or is it just illegal because of the way that we procured it? So, that's outside of the scope of this adventure path, my friend. Right, pause. I need you to send Leo a DM. Yeah, let, let me DM Leo real quick and ask him. Hey, bud. But from all of the context clues that were provided to me in the in this AP. Uh huh. I do not think that it is a stretch of the imagination to say yes, it is illegal to also possess these star medals. 
uh, that you don't want to be just sitting on a cargo hold full of star maps. Okay. 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 Good to know. Good to know. I, I mean, I don't know that for certain, though. Right. Well, I think you should also pause and just read all of the Pact Worlds, read all of Tech Revolution. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Just a quick right, pause. We'll, we'll just make just, it easy. No, just read it. Near Space as well. Just, yeah, just, just space. Yeah. I need you to freshen up on the lore here, buddy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look. Honestly, it might not. It it, it might not. I would I think. Don't here, know. Here, here's here's what I think the situation is. Okay. I think generally having star metal is probably not illegal since it's something that you can make armor and weapons and everything mm-hmm, out of. Mm-hmm. Crafting uh, material. But given that we are in a particular jurisdiction that has outlawed storm running specifically so that they right. can have control over the resources mm-hmm. that come from there, there probably is like a cap amount that you're mm-hmm. allowed to have. Not also, to wasn't there just a big raid? Or something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There was a big raid in the markets recently. We also have storm running paraphernalia on our ship. Well, see. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to go net and hook. That's the word right there. Possession of paraphernalia. There. That paraphernalia charge is 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 actually worse than than the possession (laughs) charge. (laughs) Right. Well, I was was gonna say. Oh, what you use this for? God damn it! (laughs) (laughs) I was gonna say it. To Adam's point, it's likely not illegal to have star medals normally, but in this jurisdiction, like I would think they would treat star medals like paraphernalia. Like that mm-hmm. gives us mm-hmm. probable yeah. cause to search yes. you further to see if you've been storm running. It's at least mm-hmm. suspect. Yes. Right. I, it, yeah. They would have to wait for it. The main thing that I, that makes me think that it might be illegal is I feel like if you if it if it wasn't a problem, then you wouldn't need to find this buyer. That is you know right. what I mean? Right. Right. You could just take it anywhere. Yeah. You know. I mean, we could it, take it back to Absalom Station, but we're out of gas still. <laughs> we see. That's a lot of gas, dog. That's a lot of yeah. gas. Well, yeah. Yeah. We're perpetually out of gas to keep the plot moving forward. You know? Right. <laughs> whatever it takes, keep the plot moving forward. Now, whatever justification we need, we will, we will, we will provide. Okay. Very convenient plot points. So anyway. Lindell, your contact. You ca- You you need this person mm-hmm. to be. Let's just say less than detained. Okay. <laughs> In order well, to get paid. One stage less than detained. <laughs> One stage less than than detained by the authorities. Wanted is okay. But that yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. Can alive you and accessible. Alive and available. Can That's you run yeah. down the imprisonment track for us? Just tell us what each step <laughs> right, is. Right. Right. So so let's say let's say like uh uh free and clear, right? You know. Okay. And then uh you move up the track to wanted. And then detained, the lamb. then ar- 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 arrested, uh, and then imprisoned. Uh, I w- well, and I then there's the, okay. the the worst one, dead. which is executed. Yeah. Executed, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the final. Well, stage that's just of the what track. happens when you get to the end of the track. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah. that's yes. what I said. <laughs> well, that could also happen. We're now just from being in prison. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so we got to get this guy one stage lower. You got to move him away. Yeah, but he's currently. Yeah, yeah you got to move him back down the incarceration track. Okay. So. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Take notes, Leo. This is how you <laughs> add some <Yeah>. systems. To- <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I hope he at you, dude. I hope he at you. Oh, he will. I'll, I'm gonna like, get just, blown just up with on the, that one. Just with like the the um, the note taking yeah. girl emojis, he's just shaking her head. You know? yeah. 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 It's one of my favorite. Yeah. Noted. 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 Um. So anyway, that's where we find ourselves. Now, we've got to figure out what the hell Lyndall meant by this message. Arrested. Help. Trank. Okay. Is, it, is that just how his goofy way of saying thanks? Could be. Drink. 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 Roll, Drink. roll me a sense motive check. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out if you think that. Drank is the name of the Final Fantasy boss he leads us to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Considering he's a dramata, maybe they tranked him for a sweet mate, you know? So. Actually, considering That's he's a dramata, yes. are there any yes. other dramata in the area? Like... The only person who sent us to him was it uh, 
the other storm the Traxo runner? was who yeah. sent you to him. Yes, uh, the 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 Fay ass. Fey no. Ass yes. Gnome. Yes. No. I believe that was Heath's nomenclature. Yeah. That this is some Fay ass shit. <laughs> nomenclature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the nomenclature. I'm so happy. Um. <laughs> That's a new spec of gnome yeah. coming out in the next yeah. book. Fay ass gnome. <laughs> <laughs> The, well, that's um, just when you take your normal Fey Gnome and get it to level 13. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Okay. If you would like to do some digging on the Infosphere in order to determine kind of, you know, type in, type in Arrested Trank. Help Trank or something <laughs> like that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you certainly can. Now, I mean... Hestia Hylaxia with the natural one on the computers. What... Hold, you're jumping the gun here, Hestia. So then that one doesn't count. Right. <laughs> it doesn't It doesn't count. I'm not going to count it. Okay. Even Tia, if you did, I'm a communalism that bad considering boy. Considering that you are a native mm-hmm. of Marixa. Proud daughter Marixa of Marixa. Or Mar- Marixa? No, Marixa. Marixa? Okay. Uh, you can roll a culture check. Hmm. With a plus ten bonus. Nice. On this, so you can either roll your normal computer's check, or you can roll a culture check with a plus ten bonus. I don't know if that's going to be better than your computers or not. Well, it is because I'm actually pretty good at culture. I've got a plus twelve to start with, so that's plus twenty two. Okay. All right. Well then. DC fifty (laughs) six. Yeah. Right. Oh, but it's 10 higher. 30. Dirty 30. Yes. It's like extra dirty. Mm-hmm. That, well, that's all you needed, my friend. Mm. Tia, you know, again, being from here, mm-hmm. that Trank refers to the Tranquility Rehabilitation Center, which is a prison oh. here. I hate it. On Marixa. Uh. Now, now that you know that, can you roll me a it's computer's like, check? It's like y'all don't church it up. Y'all mean jail. I mean jail. <laughs> it's a it it's a it's a it is a prison. Right. But but uh you know, we'll we'll find out more about it. Right. Computers? Computers check Tia, I, I would think that at this point you maybe want to check and try to find Lindell's arrest record. Mm-hmm. And yeah. and and you can certainly do that with a computer's check if you'd like to, to attempt. Okay. Uh, and I'll go ahead and say I'm doing um, communalism so I can roll it twice because I want to not fail this. Okay. Uh, 25. Okay. DC was 21 on that. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. No need to re-roll. You're you're good. You you've you've. I feel like Tia's got this shit in the bag. You know, being being the computer whiz that she is, as well as being a, a native. Right. Right. So. You you do find Lindell's arrest record, right? It's very recent. And what you can come up with, you know, hacking in here, is it looks like that Marixa's Republic... Rem, excuse me. Marixa Republic law enforcement picked him up, and then he got transferred to Calm 93 within Tranquility. Okay. Mm-hmm. By order of a Vescarium official named Renovaya. Renovaya? Renovaya, yes. So, you also, with that 25, uh, it's Renavaya, uh, R E N A V A Y A. Oh, excuse me, Renevaya, R E N E V A. This is really important. This is really important. We're making sure we're, we're getting past the thirty-minute mark. That's for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, you know, listen, man. I, I being an audio medium, mm-hmm. and being, uh, you know, fantasy and sci-fi based, we throw around a lot of made-up words mm-hmm. on this show. And what the one thing that I've definitely noticed, uh, you know, when our listeners come in like to the Discord or something and talk about it, is how often 
names and things get misspelled. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Even when we've corrected them for four years. And then they continue to misspell them. So, like, we're just, I'm just trying to get ahead of that. You know what I'm well, saying? Best I'm just of luck like, with that, bud. Cut that off at the pass here and just tell you. Yeah, I, I, I think that our listeners probably appreciate that, Zach. What I find funny is that, you know, uh, our players here are studiously typing it into the chat only for it to be completely obliterated <laughs> and lost in the in the scroll, you know. <laughs> by, the next, by the time we have to reference it, it ain't gonna be there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Look, we're just trying to suss this out for ourselves, Zach. You call, cool your jets, man. I'm just saying, maybe, maybe make like a, like a Google Doc or something so you can have it. You wanna sit that if, you, if y'all If y'all wanna do that, feel free, you know? Feel free. Look, oh, yes, I was talking gotta... to my castmates here, Zach. You're in the clear on this one. Okay. Sometimes <laughs> we gotta pivot to Sesame Street, all right? Odd today's keys. No, wait. Odd. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, Tia. You you have a sneaking suspicion. You just have this hunch. With that twenty-five, I'm going to roll this over. That this arrest record was really easy to find. Mm-hmm. You know, like it just seemed, seemed almost to, too easy. Almost too easy. <laughs> almost too easy. Hmm. Uh, now, Tia, being a local, as well as being trained in computers and being, you know, n- known to consult the infosphere, I am not going to make you roll to get this information about tranquility. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an info dump on on the situation with tranquility. Tia would already know all of this and could certainly convey it to the party after discovering this is where you know that. Uh, Tia Linda spends the time taken. like doing the uh, you know the, the just smashing on the computer uh, like making a what's, oh, Pack what's the, the planet Hack, hack the planet, but also like the uh, making the board like it's all, all minority sunny, report. Oh, you know? okay. <laughs> oh, like like the like, like the, 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 the yard board. board. Pepe yeah. Sylvia, right? Yeah, Pepe Sylvia. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then at once all she's gathered all the information, explains everybody through the Pepe Sylvia board. What's going <laughs> it's on? A, it's an evidence board, conspiracy board, crazy wall, or murder map. You're so fast mm, with Google. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so, Tranquility is a state-of-the-art prison complex, okay? I mean, this is cutting-edge stuff. Um, It's comprised of hundreds of um, islands, okay? Isolated, artificial islands out in the ocean. Um, Each one of these islands is is known as a calm. Okay. Okay? Each one is built on its own own little island, and there's a massive hexagonal wall that surrounds the entire complex of islands. Uh, the, the, the wall is <laughs> hundreds of feet high. It's uh, patrolled by drones. Okay? And there's also anti-air weaponry um, at the top of these walls. Damn, right? this is some, like, X-Men villain level mm-hmm, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, the way this prison is structured, right, um, each of these each of these calms are essentially just little island villages. Okay? There is no conventional security on any of these islands, on any of the calms. It's... There, there may be a couple of drones who perform maintenance or, or, you know, might be there to kind of interface with the guests or something like that. But there are no, like, The guests? Well, you can go, I mean, you can go and visit. We'll get there, uh, okay? We'll, okay? Okay, okay, <laughs> I thought that, Dang, that was just, man. like, crazy, you know. What they called the prisoners. Like, yeah, yeah cool I mean, they call oh. the Yeah, they call the cells cons. Yeah. And they right, call the prison right, tranquility. Right. So it's, it's like, got a, oh, it's we got have a, a new guest vibe. that's coming. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right. There's a right. new guest coming, you know. Right, right. So uh, there, there, there are some like maintenance droids uh, or drones, but no, no um, 
security drones or anything like that. They're, you know, they, they, they patrol the, the perimeter and there's, you know, anti-aircraft turrets and whatnot. But once once you're inside, there there are no security forces there, right? But um, each island houses a maximum of 16 prisoners. And then, you know, while they're standing on their calm, their island, they can actually um, see all the surrounding islands and, um, you know, the people on those islands even, right? The, the, the purpose, the design philosophy behind that uh, was they wanted to create a sense of community in the complex with, with no overcrowding, okay? Every island, every calm has uh, plenty of room for exercise, you know that prisoners even like are allowed to, to you know paint murals and stuff on on the walls of their rooms um, everything about this facility I mean even down to like that the, the paint color individual room design everything is designed to uh, minimize psychological pressures and conflicts right you know that there are AI consoles on, on every calm throughout the facility that will provide counseling to the prisoners um, as well as offer advice on developing their uh, life skills, self-improvement. This sounds like a rehab. I was just say, is Routine. this an actual yeah, yeah. rehabilitation center? Yeah, this is like, not, not a just a prison? prison. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's not well, I, what it's, is that? I mean... It's Y'all very, are the ones that that conclusion. It's more like therapy. Like, yeah. Well, it's sorry, sorry, very we're interesting because it sounds way better than the American exactly. prison system. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. Right. Like, yeah. It being Dude. so much better automatically makes me suspicious yes. of it. Like, okay, <laughs> this, is, this is some sci fi horror movie mm-hmm. stuff. There's something else going on here. Oh, this part's right. terrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so, like I mean, Lord you know, of the got... Flies on a massive scale. Mm-hmm. Well. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> they can the the these AI <laughs> consoles. They can get self improvement, wellness tips, etc. Uh, you know, uh, uh, like suggest workout routines for them. Inmates can cook their own meals, do their own laundry uh, if they want to, or they can have the drones do the do it for them if they they would like. Tranquility does have open visitation. 24 hours a day requires neither supervision nor observation, okay? So this is all this is this is a lot of the info just that Tia would have already known about tranquility just from having lived you know on Rexa huh most of her life. It's like <laughs> it, it makes me think of like Americans going to Canada and being like, "Oh, the healthcare is like awesome here wow it's like we come here come here from you know uh, i don't know I, the packed worlds is like so many different worlds mm-hmm. but it's like this is not how they do prisons even in the packed worlds you yeah know? almost to the point where it's like you're suspect like okay but where, what's the rub right, yeah, no, right, right, right. what's the sinister point of this <laughs> right, there's exactly, one exactly. I mean, who's getting kicked behind this curtain you morgan know? would ask like well how do they keep people from leaving if it's just open visitation, how do they keep inmates on the calms, as it were? I would assume with drones. Well, it sounds to me like they wouldn't even want to leave, to be honest with you. I mean, Fair enough. honestly, what's his name? I mean, Vincent is actually almost kind of impressed by this. You know? Yeah, like, I mean, he, these these prisoners have better living conditions than we do. Right. Right. If, if we we call, shit. This is where I want to go. <laughs> I, I you know? would say, like, maybe we arrested? should get arrested. Yeah. Yes. If, if I mean, just, how do we get arrested? <laughs> just call the port authority <laughs> and say, come check out my cargo hold real we quick. We have you know? star medals over <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily want to be arrested, but if we were going to get arrested somewhere, this it should definitely be Marixa. Right. The jewel of unity. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, now, again, this facility does have open visitation. So one way that you can get to to Calm uh, 93, specifically, to Tranquility on Calm 93, is you can take a shuttle 
Uh, there's a nearby city called uh, Doba. It's a port city. Um, and you could you could head over there, and you can reserve a, an automated shuttle, essentially that will that will you know takes about an hour to get there. Let's that just will, go check that ourselves in. Fly you over there, but here's the catch: no weapons allowed. No weapons allowed. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Gadrick starts you know, to put his is... pistol inside of his mouth. Like, uh, <laughs> Chica. Chica. Put the safety yeah. on, please, like, first. Like, yeah, that's dark, bro. Yeah. No. <laughs> no weapons? Oh, well. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I was just like thinking about cheek pouches at first. Like, uh, if, if the way to get in here is through visitation, it just... I immediately go to like, okay, well, why, why, what's to stop us from actually just, you know, taking them back out? And That's, it's just kind of like, well, that was always allowed. You can yeah, yeah. bring them, you know, <laughs> take them out, you can leave. That's <laughs> it. You won't know unless you try. That was always allowed. Yeah. Right, right. Go ahead and tell you. <laughs> That's not gonna work. It's not okay. allowed. <laughs> it's, it's not if gonna you work. Don't ask, you don't I'll get. Just, you know. Let me save you the effort of, of having to like suss this whole plan mm, out and mm, say, yeah, mm. we're just we're just gonna take the shuttle and we'll just get him. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get him. That um, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have to. There was always six of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you're you're gonna have to uh, no, b- this break this GM, man out, out of his prison. <laughs> you know. Um, do we now, have to like schedule a, a visit? With somebody, or we just can just show up and be like, just reserve the well, shuttle. Y- you would you would need to get on the infosphere and like reserve, a, you know, a shuttle. Well, whatever. yeah, I got I caught that part, but I wasn't sure if we had to like call ahead and say, hey, we want to visit with this person or register. I, I, that. I would imagine when you res- go to reserve the shuttle on on the website that you would have to you know put in who are you visiting? Who are you visiting? Right, Ooh. so they send you to the correct island, you know. Um, now. I would like to present you that that is one viable method of entry okay if you want to sneak your weapons on then you'll have to sneak your weapons onto the shuttle you know and then y'all can sort out how you want to do that but that is that is one viable method of entry alternatively you could try to get through the security in the independence. Just crash through okay. the wall. Oh, like fly past the anti-air <laughs> Yeah, the anti aircraft weapons mm. on top of the walls. That right, seems right. a bold so, so the, strategy. So the, the quiet way in. Yeah, it's super... The, yeah. the, the quiet way in, <laughs> yes. Oh, AKA the fun way. Mm. <laughs> now, um... If you would like to... If you, if you think that, that you might consider that, you can you can do some research on the viability of that if you, if you want to. That's and a fleeting you can, thought. I can provide okay. you with some information <laughs> related to that method if you would like. I um, mean, we might as well consider all the options. Or you could, you know, yeah, you could research that. You could research like what kind of security systems are, uh, you know, on these shuttles. How how would they determine if if you could um, get your weapons on there? You know, is like, there is there an answer to the question out there of how the prisoners are kept? Yeah, like in their in their in their islands. I meant that genuinely. Like, what is to keep them from the, leaving on the shuttles? The the prisoners are absolutely tracked and monitored. Okay. Okay. So, so and then the drones chips. would do stuff. If presumably, okay. yes. Or yeah. the you know law enforcement would call and come right and get them, come and get them right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> uh, again, I, I'll just tell you, you're you're not going to be able to just stroll in there and stroll out with one extra person well, that you arrived with. Obviously, um, yeah. But yeah. we're just trying to get a lay of the land a little bit. I got what, you. What, I got what, you. What keeps them in? Has there been any breakouts before? Is it- as far as public record goes, no. What about non-public record? <laughs> you do not have access to that. And it's also outside the scope of this adventure. Gotcha, gotcha. It exists. It's <laughs> happened. <laughs> In your that's imagination. That, that's that dark web stuff. Yeah. Um, so, 
I, you know, I, I certainly just, would be interested in first and foremost getting all the information about security that we okay. can. Okay. Okay. So so go ahead and, and hit me with a computer's check and okay. um I will kind of give you some information. Ooh. Bro, come on. That's a natural one for a 16. Yeah, that's a communalism, that's right? That is. Just keep that, clicking and see I would, if it yeah, I would, I would keep, Before I tell you that's a success or a fail, uh, if you would like to use your communalism. <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Back, the hell? That's the worst back. communalism I've ever seen. I, ta- I take Gadrick's gun out of his cheek pockets <laughs> and put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let me try. <laughs> I can't. I'm not trained in it. I can't. I was just <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm I just mean, gonna fucking roll. I got a plus. I got a plus one to computers. I got a plus three. I'll see what happens. make the attempt. Yeah. I While mean, the shit has happened. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I got a two. Natural two uh, for Morgan. I got an eleven five. total. So yeah. Eleven total. <laughs> this don't bode okay. well. Okay. <laughs> Gadrick, you're our only hope. <laughs> uh, no, no. Gadrick, uh, he ate too much curry. So. <laughs> he's away right now <laughs> his weapon is his cheek pouch is it sailing well with him no <laughs> got gun that, doing that, a that gun oil stuff. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you right Look, I'm just built different he <laughs> <laughs> I can digest gun oil <laughs> <laughs> oh man! He's been using gun oil on his mustache for years. <laughs> <laughs> Finally caught up with him. <laughs> One day the mustache just falls off all at once, like in a solid <laughs> shape. It just like <laughs> pops off. So I, so I guess I kind of just screwed us on everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's the thing, man. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be using not foundry moving forward. Cause <laughs> yeah. That's, that's some yeah. Is your character sheet even up to date in foundry right now? Because probably here's, not. Here's right. here's the yeah, deal. Yeah. Here's the deal okay. to you. I, I for the sake of advancing the plot. We're gonna give you a plus ten bonus to this check, <laughs> being that you are what a being, nice guy. Being that you are, uh, you know, local and also also the, a, a, a hacker extraordinaire. Um, Doesn't seem like it. Let me like just, let me just roll that. it one more time. Just, just let, let me try, let me try to redeem myself. <laughs> if you get a natural one on this, then we're we're canceling the game. It's a ten. It's a natural ten. So there twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. All right. Okay, Tia. Tia That's spills cool. like tea on her keyboard or something. <laughs> okay, so the way uh, that the shuttle system is set up, uh, you know, you you are going to go through a security checkpoint, and then uh, you would need to probably go for something like a sleight of hand check I would think getting that those weapons through security checkpoint um, you may you know you may want to use an engineering check to disable some of this security surreptitiously right um, you would then need to probably store these weapons like in the cargo hold or something like that of this of this thing so you might need a an engineering check, or maybe even just an athletics to pry that open, right? Um, you know, and of course you could assist, right? Like, you know, you could uh, bluff to distract the guards. You could hack cameras, uh, disguise, even impersonate the staff of Tranquility. There's lots of, of different ways that you could go about doing this, but you need a plan, you know, if this is right. the, the route you want to go. So hear me out. We do the Wookiee thing, and Heath gets rid of all of his gear, and we walk him like into the it. prison. I sounds like good. It. Sounds like yes. a plan. I don't see how it could possibly go this wrong. This sounds familiar. I don't know what you're talking about. No, we've never done this before. <laughs> yeah, it sounds fucking tragic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big tough character anymore, either. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's the deal with the, with the shuttles. Right, like you would have to do some, some doing, in order to, to get weapons in. To get weapons in. Now, let me save you the effort of pondering. 
you know, on the mysteries of the universe related to, to Calm 93 and Tranquility. In order to successfully complete this mission, folks, I would highly advise that you have weapons before you go in there, okay? Just highly advise. Check. Got okay. it. Okay. Okay. Like, Bold I don't know about the rest of you guys, size. but I'm yeah. good. You'll be fine if you just if you want to just go visit Lindell on Calm 93. But if you want to get him off of that island, I, I would highly advise you have weapons. Okay? So, <clears throat> consider that while we research the uh, the other method, you know? Which is to take your own ship. Now, as I mentioned, there are anti-aircraft measures at the top of these walls, okay? However, when you do a little, you know, uh, a little research on this, you discover that there are heat sensors that monitor the air above the prison. So, essentially, if you wanted to avoid detection, you could do this by cutting all of the power to the ship and fall through you know, that, that layer of, of, of the, heat the detection area. Yeah. Yeah. Detection yeah. area. A Dama maneuver. And, yes. And, tr- and try <laughs> to reignite those thrusters uh, before the ship actually hits the water. Now, here's the problem with that. If you fail this, you it's die. going to damage the independence. You don't maybe, say. <laughs> maybe to such a degree in which it would no longer function as a, an escape vehicle. As a starship. Ve- <laughs> yeah, as an escape vehicle. So... It, it that you know, there's a risk involved with that too. Um. So, I think that's going to fall a lot on on um on on the pilot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. However, uh, I will allow assists on that uh, on that check if that's something that you want to do. Right. You could you could aid. That that piloting uh, those piloting checks maybe that that, that Gadget would need to do um, with something like uh, computers, physical science, you know, the the getting the physics of everything, well, just you know, just so that sort of thing. So here's the flaw I see in that plan. We might be able to get in, but what about leaving? Mm-hmm. Once mm-hmm. we once we fl- go to fly out, those defense systems are still going to be there most likely. Most definitely. We just got to go fast. Then, so, yeah. Yeah, just go fast. We are not but, exiting quietly in any plan. That's true. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, line. I mean, you you know, I, I would think at that point it would be shooting your way out. Can we... I think I think that's the... Regardless of how we go in, that's how we're going out. Can we just, <laughs> like, real quick take, right. like, a Sharpie on the front of the ship and write not... In front of independence, you know, like change our <laughs> so you know, put it on the sly, you know. Oh, well, we're looking for not the independence. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like where your head's at. Let's put a pin in that one, and we'll come back to it. <laughs> this is this is the USS uh, imprisonment. <laughs> right. Oh, no, all guys, about imprisonment. Listen, yeah. listen. You are you are free to develop your own method of 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 infiltration, but. The, these are kind of the parameters, you know what I mean, right? Uh, you know, I want to, I want to allow you to be creative. If that's if that's right, what you want to do. But it. these are your parameters. So talk amongst yourselves, formulate your plan. Yeah. So I got it. Look, we can avoid both of those plans if we just like take a day, work on the ship, turn it into a, a burrowing vessel. There it is. Like in, like in Atlantis. There it is. And just go under the wall. Boom. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. Boom. Yeah. In so the water? The, under uh, the water and the, the I, I would assume the walls go down to the like sea floor, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just be mm-hmm. able to burrow right through bedrock. So you got to make it a boat mm-hmm. <laughs> and a tunneler. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We just got to convert uh-huh. the ship into those things. Yeah, okay. yeah. While and, we're at um, it, let's just make this whole like thing a fucking anime while we're at it. Yep. So you can definitely do a full ship conversion if you would like. Uh, that'll be 200,000 credits. Mm. 
Yeah. That's oh. cheap. That's <laughs> right. It's right, probably right. way more than that. <laughs> and, and probably like what five build points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, whoa, just whoa, five. whoa, whoa, that's yeah. too late. Just, just five that's build points. Where I draw the line. And, and, and a, you know, about a month of work. Yeah. And um, you guys can do right, that. Right. So, I mean, that's. Th- let's put a pin in that okay. one and we'll come back okay. to it. That's an idea. Right, right. Put yeah, it on that, the board. <laughs> put yeah, it on the yeah, board. Yeah, yeah. There's no bad ideas during the brainstorming phase. <laughs> right, right, exactly. That's right. <laughs> just, just put it on the murder board Look, under bad ideas. It has <laughs> well, nothing if not ambitious. Well, you know? if there's no bad ideas, I mean, we could just leave them in. You know? Oh, we, then we have all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. We're out of gas. Fuck, so. man. Yeah. And we the, problem, gas. the end goal is to get money. And then get right. gas, you know. With said money. Yeah. Um, I mean, realistically. It's a logical priorities. chain of events, yeah. Priorities. Yeah. That's right. If we're trying to. In that order. <laughs> we all know that we're not going to be able to, like, scoot out of there quietly, right? There's no, no way. There, there's no way. I don't Unless think so. they I have there a is... laundry truck. <laughs> hey, let's convert the ship into a laundry truck. There it is. Uh, I that, think that'll only take half a month. Yeah, there uh. definitely is a way. Will we find it? Probably not. Yeah. Will we do it? Definitely not. <laughs> let's just convert into a parcel delivery service. How's that? Okay, that's and what we are. Express. Yeah. Yeah, oh we, yeah, we are really. Kind of literally that's what, that, that's yeah. what we do. <laughs> Let's just, let's just do that. Say, hey, hey, we got we got some stuff to deliver. We're here to We're salvage go. your whole prison. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> got a pizza delivery for. Pizza shut down. Yeah. 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 We're exactly. here to work this shut down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know. I got my papers. It said it's a shut down, so we're going to shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, hands to forged them. They're right here. <laughs> forged them right here. <laughs> Dude, I, look, look. I vote for the Adama maneuver. I I actually think dropping the ship in, while exceedingly dangerous, is the least number of steps you can mess up along the way. Now, there's one big one you don't want to mess up. (laughs) But but all the, like, having to either try disguises or, um, you know, all the different stuff you have to do to try to smuggle guns onto the shuttle. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just so many many parts in that that could... Look how many natural ones I've already rolled. Yeah. And the you most know? important thing about it, it's badass. Yeah, it is, I agree. It is considerably more I badass. I, 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 have badass. To, I have to agree with that. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the action movie move. Here, here, here's here's the issue though. I, I like what you. I, what do you I, want? I, or what are you going to say, Adam? <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, like. So yes, the smuggling the items in on the shuttle has a lot of opportunities for minor failures that could stack up. The thing with this going in Starship, there's only a chance for one failure, but if we fail that, it's a really bad failure. But we get, we get he said we'll be able to aid, you know, and and try mm-hmm. out different things mm-hmm. to help. And I've got a plus succeed. sixteen, so if you guys can aid, would it be piloting well, checks that would aid, or would it be doomed, engineering for like firing now. up the engines? We're doomed now. No, so you could you could aid that piloting check with computers or physical science. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I I got that. I have a plus three in physical science. Woo! I, I mean, I auto aid on either mm. one. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not even gonna damn that with an answer. I mean, we can. Don't even have. Multiple people can try. I mean, that's the worst yeah. thing we can do is try. Yeah. I think we're good. I think our luck is about to turn around. <laughs> so you keep letting yourself think that, and that's why it keeps hurting so bad. It do, it do hurt. It do hurt real bad. You know, I'm this time, you. I'm not going to get kicked in the nuts. I just got a feeling. I'm just going to manifest it, and it's going to be fine. I am a fan of let's drop out of the sky. Like a lukewarm yes. potato. Super dope. I mean, it's, yeah. It's the hey, hey, hey. You only live once. Squaw. See the yellow move, dude. Come on. It's like it's like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, <laughs> but with a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It sounds like we're gonna live and let fly. Ah. He uh, said we're gonna live and let fly. We're gonna live and let fly. Now we have to do it. Now we have to do it. That's true. He said the right, thing, Adam. So we have going, to do it. We're going with the aerial infiltration method. The then, huh? the falling with style. Yes. yes. Aerial infiltration. Indeed. Go on. Nice. I, ooh, that's. Mm. Thanks. 
It's, it's not your worst one. No, it's like, that's actually good. It's, I've heard way worse. Yeah, like this episode even. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, it seems that everyone but our fearless leader here is Y'all, sold he is on this pondering. plan. Y'all, he's pondering. Adam looks very The guy who very hasn't seen perturbed. Battlestar Galactica is against uh-huh. doing the Battlestar Galactica maneuver. So that's, that's fine. I don't, that that no, tracks. That I tracks. understand it. It's a big fucking gamble. Like... I love gambling. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I tell we you. got this guy here. He really likes gambling. Now that you've said that, I'm less inclined to go with your particular choice. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, this is a democratic crew. <laughs> Captain is merely a title, not a not an uh, all authority authoritarian position. You know, so depends on what kind of captain you are. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's what right he's now. saying. That he's I'm not, not that kind of captain. captain. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and it has been it has been displayed over the last 51 episodes. Mm-hmm. He's a good dog. It'd be a big whiplash if you, if you decide to do the opposite. <laughs> I hear what all of you are saying, but no. But fuck you. <laughs> 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 Instead, we're going to do an elaborate disguising yes. Ocean's Eleven style. Yes, yes. <laughs> we need everybody to grease up their prison pockets because we're going in. <laughs> Morgan looks at the empty, like, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, the <laughs> stolen loop. <laughs> like, I can't, Captain. This sorry. is going to be tough. Yeah. Everybody just wears Gadrick mustaches except for Gadrick. <laughs> <laughs> and he shaves his yeah. off. You, you see the way my anatomy is set up. <laughs> my I don't grow a hair. <laughs> Y'all, this has been a real giggly episode. Um, uh, we've well, been memeing it, yeah, like hard. <laughs> we, well, now. Told you we'd the run moment, that fucking time up, dude. The moment of truth has come. What are we doing? Do we, I, we're, do, we're doing we're the doing it. Yeah. Have We're doing it. Holes. We're doing it. all in Stealing your resolve. Prepared to go to extreme measures to recover your best friend. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Wendell <laughs> Slow, down. Now, wait. Slow down. From his unjust imprisonment. Mm-hmm. At the draconian facility <laughs> known as Tranquility. Listen, we joked about a lot of things today. <laughs> but you just said a lot of lies. <laughs> yeah. You just said a lot of lies. <laughs> None of that is true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, no, no, no. You, I mean, you, this is a pretty nice prison. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we're seriously considering moving there, <laughs> can, you know? can we just find a different fence? Is that an option we haven't explored? Well, listen, here's the good news, okay? If you fuck this up, then they'll probably just throw you on one of these islands. Well, there we get, you know, this is a win-win, so win, win. guys. Uh, yeah, I don't no see more how we pressure. Lose, to be the, honest. The, the, the lose is if we plummet and, and just land on the ground without actually firing the engines back up and die. That's, that'll be a bad time. Real, <laughs> that'll be a bad time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Don't worry, we won't die. We have plenty of resolve. We just <laughs> might get stuck. We we'll just get stuck. Yeah, drown, but if we, but but, if we all know. get knocked unconscious, we're going to yeah, have a bad a time. <laughs> that could be right. a problem. Yeah. That's I can see to that. That's not going to happen <laughs> right. there. It's going to be fine. <laughs> So anyway, like I was saying, you steal your resolve in order to go get your best friend Lindell out of this draconian nope. prison facility. Mm-mm. And you all hop in the independence, fire it up, get your get your landing clearance, whatever it is you need to do. Okay. And Tia, you wouldn't have any issue, you know, knowing how to n- navigate in order to over to the general area of tranquility. Um off the coast of uh Doba. I believe is the name of the city. Yes, Doba. D O B A. Anybody needed to know that? D-O-B-A. Put it in the chat. We Put it in the chat. Lose, we don't want to lose it. Stat. Okay. All right. There we go. It'll never get buried. We'll just, yeah. we'll just hop on MR 98. Go straight west. MR 98. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Merck's Republic. Yeah, I got right. it. Right, right, right. Look, right. I got to right. okay. tell you guys this. I've been waiting and always forgetting. For some reason, every time I use navigation leaving my house, like all the highways, it's like MS for, for Mississippi, MS yeah. 98, whatever. 
the the one that's right by my house every time I go somewhere uh, because I don't know how to get anywhere but I have an Australian accent on my uh, navigator but it says but it says instead of Mississippi Highway 42 or whatever it's like it calls it Mega Siemens no (laughs) Mega (laughs) Siemens Highway 42 (laughs) Mm. I mean more, more power to him, you know. What I mean? yeah. Yeah. Emily, Emily was like, laughing what? so hard it was silent for a little while. <laughs> it just throws me off every time. I'm like, Mega Siemens Highway. It's the best Siemens. I got a kinky navigator. <laughs> Where y'all are going, there's no Mega Siemens Highway. Okay. All right. So Where we're just, going, we don't we, need roads. You don't need Mega Siemens Highways. <laughs> we we definitely need roads, though. All right. We're, we're approaching, we're flying over the ocean in the Independence, whole crew's there, okay? I try, let me just let me just get you to the finish line on this one, okay? <laughs> no. Just bear with me, man, just a minute, you know? Use Dang. the mics. <laughs> okay. Um, and, you, you know, you see the large hexagonal wall. It's huge, right? It's massive. Um, and, you know, as, you're, a, a, as you fly over it, several hundreds of feet up, obviously, out, out of range of the anti-air... Um, Weapon systems that are that are all along the wall. You you can see uh, sort of some of these islands, and it's too far away for you to make out anything, um, you know, concrete, right? But but you can see just acres of 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 forest, beach, grasslands on these islands that that kind of are all surrounding these little whitewashed villages. You can kind of see individuals, obviously too far away to make out anything. Uh, they look like they're playing outdoor sports. Uh, they're, you know, just out enjoying the weather, uh, going on hikes, um, that sort of thing, right? So, Prison is literally a day at the beach. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. a walk in the park. You just can't leave. <laughs> you know, that's the only thing. All right, so <clears throat> you fly in the approximate vicinity of Calm 93. Okay? So now it's time to make the drop. So, killing the engines, that's not, you know, you don't have to roll anything for that. You just turn it off. Yeah, when the time comes, Gadrick, you just, you, you turn the key in the ignition because obviously starships have Cannon. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they've cannon, got, you know, a combustion engine which requires a, a key start. <laughs> All right, everybody, um, buckle up. Yep. No, they actually don't. The key is just there as a relic of old design. So <laughs> it's just to make you feel good. To make you feel feel yeah. good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, our starter went out. <laughs> Goes try and. <laughs> I feel like when you turn the, the key, just... <laughs> you turn the key, and there's like an internal shot that you see inside, and it just like click click click, and then it just pushes a button. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Rube Rube Goldberg device. Right. <laughs> Mechanisms in order to press a button. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So you kill the engine. You kill the engine, the engine. The engine. Engine. And you all just start falling. Okay. Like I mean, a God to, the to say that your your stomachs are in your throat would be an understatement, mm. right? You're falling hundreds of feet out of the sky, and um, I mean, it's like it's intense, right? <clears throat> but as you go through. The, the, the wall line the top of the wall nothing happens That's none good. of the none of none of the turrets activate none of the drones rush over it's just you know but Gadrick I am gonna need you to make a piloting check as you're descending now if anyone wants to assist with computers or physical science to aid this piloting check now is the time yeah auto aid say uh okay. Heath you still, uh, you still got that communalism on standby sure do yep. okay Go ahead and use it. Or, or any, declare any it before aids? you roll. Uh, so there's multiple aids. I oh. aid with computers. I can do a plus one, so I'm fine. Oh, I can't aid. What am I even talking about? Let me see. All right, Morgan, you roll a computers check. Yep, got you a got twelve. A twelve. That is a successful aid. I aid with computers. Okay, another aid from Vincent. I automated. This says three aids, and then Roland, you can't aid, right? No. So that's a okay, plus so six. Plus. 
six to this roll. All right, and, and, I'm you, get, use and a, you get to roll it twice. And I'm going I'm to use a d30. So one of them's going to be a 30, the other one's 20. That's what we rolled on, right? Correct, with okay. communalism, yes. Well, I'm going to just roll both at the same time and pick the higher of the two. Oh, 30 on the floor. Well, that's a 20 on the d20, though. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with that. The thirty, it might be higher than twenty, but uh, that but makes it for thirty six plus six, so a forty two. Forty fucking two. All right. So you, you're 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 falling down, and I mean you know you're kind of starting to hit some some G's at this point, right? Like you know just the just the force, the gravity, if you will, um, is carrying you down, Gadrick. You time it right. Everyone's feeding you the calculations that you need. And just when it thinks it's just a little too late, you crank the key. <laughs> you start the engines back up. Turn the thrusters downward, you know. And, um, I mean, feet from the water, the thrusters kick in and stop you from smashing straight down. And you successfully have infiltrated Calm 93. Fuck yeah. Yeah, baby. So... So real quick, you you kind of ease up to the shore there. You can set the ship down right there on the beach. Okay, and as as you get closer, right, you 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 certainly have noticed that there's a, a a welcome center, pretty prominent welcome center near the beach, right? There, uh, you know, you can see some brick paths that are winding along uh, t- towards these little little cottages. That the uh, the inmates are in, you know. Um, there's a community center off off in the distance as well, right? You can kind of see some drones flying around, but they seem to be ignoring you. So, <clears throat> y'all, I imagine hop out of the ship, right, and um, start making your way towards downtown. Uh huh. Somebody walking there. fast, faces palace, and I'm homebound. Yep. Um, and as you're as you're homebound towards the welcome center, of course, you uh, you start looking around, and everybody on this island is someone you know. Huh? What? You see Carm off in the distance, and Adani. You see Captain Fireheart. You see Rishé from the Revenant Urge back on Absalom Station. Every person on this island is someone you know. And, and as this is clicking in your heads and you're like, what's going on? You see three little goblins... <gasps> Waving at you as they're walking up to you, and we'll see you. What the fuck? Mm. <laughs> All right. We're here to find John Locke. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, dude. Is that a lost reference? Yes. Yes. Uh, look yes. at me. Yes. I got it. The black. I got I've seen that one, John. Yeah. 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 Yeah.